Well, I'm joined now by Ryan Marr. Ryan, what do we know about this? Well, we've seen coronavirus cause havoc throughout the footballing world. Now, we've been told all week that this weekend's Scottish football matches would be going ahead. But in the last hour, a joint statement released by the SFA and SPFL said that all domestic, professional and grassroots football matches would be suspended. Ryan Marr is at Ibrox for us. Ryan. It's been an indifferent year so far for Rangers, Ronnie, but tonight the situation could not be clearer. Three points is the only thing that the fans heading here to Ibrox will accept. With the men's event taking place in Glasgow, I wonder, is there a place in the team for one more member? Ryan Marr, STV News, Sterling. What do you think? Live now to Ryan Marr, who's at the home of St Mirren. Ryan. Yes, Jack Anik has become the fifth positive case in the Scottish top flight. But for both sets of managers of Hamilton and St Mirren, it's just been an unfortunate situation with no breaches in policy. The football on the park may not have changed, but getting the game back to this stage for all clubs across the country has been a challenge. Motherwell versus Celtic, Ryan. Yes, Ronnie, if it's top of the table action you're looking for, then look no further. It's third versus first, and it is all to play for here in Lanarkshire. Rangers have produced some top results in their qualification for European football after Christmas, and manager Steven Gerrard knows he'll need another huge performance tonight as they welcome Braga in the first leg of the Europa League round of 32. Lisa's training is now well underway for the British Championships. <sighs> But as you can see, there's no chance you'll see me anywhere near there anytime soon. Ryan Marr, STV News, Dunfermline. The competition will come to a close on Thursday before the best-ranked children will go into a competition on Friday in Gullen. But for these kids around me, it's probably for the best that I'm too old to take part. Otherwise, I'd be coming home with a victory. Ryan Marr, STV News, East Lothian. Oh, can we cut that out? Ryan Marr, who's at Ibrox, Ryan? Yes, expect a healthy crowd here tonight, Raman, as Rangers look to push on after that victory at Celtic Park in their last league outing. Is that Celtic Park for us, Ryan? Yes, Raman, after four games in this group, Celtic have exceeded expectations. Neil Lennon's side secured qualification with that victory over Lazio in Rome. It's been a glorious day here in Edinburgh as Hearts launch their new away kit and they'll have a new face in it for the new season with the signing of Northern Ireland international Connor Washington. Connor, how excited are you to get the deal over the line? It's an absolutely glorious day in Edinburgh and conditions here at Easter Road are perfect for a game of football. Hibs currently sit behind visitors are Arbroath in Group C and victory for Paul Heckingbottom will put them in pole position to seal a place in the last 16. In less than 60 days, the talking stops and Scotland's Rugby World Cup adventure begins. And if the strength of support is anything to go by, Gregor Townsend's side might just have a chance. Ryan Marr, STV News, Murrayfield.